How's it going? This is Brandon and Pierce with a um, with a tutorial on how to uh, update the BIOS in the Z87 Sabertooth Tough uh, mm -hmm. with the cooler shielding. As you can see in there, if you can't see that, then mm. eat shit. <laughs> anyway, um, make sure you get a USB. Um, that is around one gig because that isn't from the Australian Catholic University. <laughs> Shut up. That is about one gig. You don't even need that. You probably need like a two fifty six meg. Or yeah, it it just needs to be big enough so, so that you so can, so can format it. A seven megabyte file. Well, see, if you have a big one, when you format it to FAT thirty two, it takes forever. So, what we do is show the okay. USB. All right. So. Plug it mm. in. Plug it in wherever the fuck you want. So it's you loading. Put it in your anus. Alright, so I'll delete that file. So you wanna go Saber. Oh no. Tooth. Make sure you Z show them how to. Yes, I'm doing. Saber Z87. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting the BIOS files first. Oh, fair enough. So you wanna go to here? The Asus website? Or depending on whatever. Whatever you. wherever you're going. Right, where am I going? Support. Yeah, so support is the main main one. Drivers and tools. So you want to get two files from here. Uh, we're going to boot at Windows 8.164 bit. So first you're going to want to get the second one down, the Z87 BIOS 2103. And download that from the global repository. Download. And the second file you're going to want to get is the BIOS utilities, the BIOS renamer. USB BIOS flashback and okay. crash free BIOS 2. Yeah, I already have that. It's on the desktop already extracted. So yeah. you're going to want to grab this file. So make sure that you extract the Sabertooth Z87 file before putting it on the USB because it has to be a cap file. All right, so you got these two files now the B renamer out of the renamer tools and the Sabertooth. So what you want to do is copy, them copy both. both of those. But before you want to do. Before you do that, you're going to want to right click and format it to FAT32 and then click start. start. It'll just do that anyway. It's going to take a look forever. Nah, it takes like a, a oh, little bit. I swear we I'm can just So you want to click start. Yes, erase the okay. whole amount of nothing that's on there. Format complete. So okay. formatted and just paste the files in there. So then all you want to do is double click on the B renamer. And it will and then automatically press change enter. it. And it did absolutely nothing that time, because I think... There we go. There we go. Change it to the Z87ST. So then you want to delete the B renamer. And then take it out of here. Don't and care about that fucking eject shit. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't make a difference these days. Yeah. So, in the Z87, you'll find that you'll have your BIOS uh, button up here and you can follow this white line all the way down to the USB that says USB BIOS flashback you put your USB in there and you hold your BIOS in until it starts flashing blue that's generally what happens anyway and your USB generally you should try and get a USB that either flashes or has a light on it so that you know is it indicating that it is actually working when you get to the uh, prompting of the USB, mm -hmm. uh, just just let it sit there until it finishes flashing, and also the BIOS. Then take your USB out, press the power button. Mm -hmm. It should turn on, and then boot a few times. It'll turn on. It'll come up on the screen with your post screen. It'll come up after that uh, updating BIOS. It'll turn off. Come back on again, turn off, on, it'll say BIOS updated, turn off, and then turn on again, and then it should boot Windows. Yeah, and you should have it. post. And generally, the actual problem that I found that has happened just before this was the uh, CPU light was on, and nothing else was going on, uh, going wrong with it. So I had my um, all my connectors, my 24-pin one and my 8-pin one for my CPU, I couldn't figure it out and it was just renaming it so that was the 
basically what was wrong with it. That was the only thing that was That was the only thing. Was that it had the wrong file name. Yeah, the file name. Which is fucking stupid. So then we were all good from there. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's useful for anyone in the future that is buying the Z87. Or 97. Um, or, or 97. Um, I'm pretty sure they go through the same thing. Um, pretty sure it's the same with the 77 as well. Yeah, 77 as well. Yeah, just make sure that your BIOS is updated if you got anything. And also, do not rely completely on flashing your computer because... I have heard that if you flash your computer wrong, you can completely fuck it up and mm -hmm. you'll have to give them back or mm -hmm. give it back and your warranty will be vo voided, apparently. So I've been reading. I only use it that. as a last resort. This yeah, flash. a last resort. So before you go into like doing all that, short, uh, that shit, make sure your CPU um, socket has no bent pins, no charring, no burnt areas um, make sure your uh, power supply is powerful enough for it to supply your motherboard plus your CPU plus your graphics card and everything else that you have connected mm -hmm. and all you really need to actually make the flashback work is your 24 pin um, power supply uh, power cord plugged into the motherboard plus the 8 pin that way the CPU actually works. Um, and then uh, flashback should work. Pretty much. Because I've been seeing that all over the thing. All and, the and if it doesn't work, then you're completely fucked. You should send it back, seriously. Don't don't void your warranty because you'll be paying another three hundred dollars. It's, they've they've come down a lot now. They're yeah. like a hundred and sixty eight dollars now. Yeah. But when you got it, it was fucking shitloads. Yeah, when I got it, it was heaps. And I finally finished building my computer. So, enjoy, guys. I'll see you later. This is Brandon and Pierce. Bye. <laughs>